back at it another day another gun <laughs> you can never have too many right so today I'm going to be dealing with my uh, SIG M17 uh, I like it it's what I'm issued uh, and so I like uh, carrying it I always qualify really well with it and then I'm also going to be talking about the holster so I went ahead and bought the, um, the actual uh, military issue holster. It's the same kit you would get, same NSN and everything, but you can only get it from, of course, SIG, <laughs> if you want it in FDE. So I'm gonna give this a whirl, see how it compares to the one, like I said, the one that I issued. But it comes with uh, multiple components. You've got the um, quick disconnect, goes on your belt. You want it that way or you can do the paddle and hook the uh, holster directly to the paddle or if I wanted to drop this farther I can put the paddle on my belt and then hook it on like that so uh, that's how I usually do it because I like it a little lower but anyway uh, let me get everything situated and, and we'll see how it goes but it I do like how the M17 shoot so I've got it set up like I said I like using the paddle dropping it lower I like it lower on my leg um, <coughs> But these have two retentions. They've got the strap, which you can remove, I don't. And then the, the thumb retention that you uh, kind of push in at the same time and then the pistol comes out. So, so there is no way that's coming out unless you want it to come out, which is exactly what you want. So um, I do like this. Like I said, it comes with, the kit was expensive. I think it's like 360, but it comes with, um, all these pieces and then this other piece uh, you can actually uh, weave into your molly straps and then you can put it directly on any vest you might be wearing which is uh, if I'm not wearing it on my leg that's how I like to wear it and you can adjust it so you can if you see these three holes I can unscrew this screw and I can rotate it so I can cant how the pistol is uh, on my chest rig so to speak so yeah, I really like it, and, and I like it because I'm used to it. It is Safari Land, and you can order a black one from Safari Land, but I can only get the uh, FDE from SIG directly. So with the M17, you would usually be issued 17 round mags and 21 round mags in a combination. And I just want to show you the 17 round mags. Yeah, let's do the empty one. Uh, they fit flush nice grip everything like that the 21 rounders they do obviously do not fit flush however sig puts this uh, same color follower uh, you can get them black or tan I go with the tan FTE but yeah I don't I don't need the extension but if you need it um, it is really comfortable with that cover uh, another thing I like about this pistol let me set up here a second I like how it takes down. Um, it's really simple. All you have to do is take the pistol, lock it to the rear, and then rotate that lever, release the slide, and it just comes off. There's no fighting, getting at a certain spot, anything like that. It's got a contained guide rod, guide spring. I mean, it is super simple to put it back together. Same thing. Lock it back, turn the thing, and you're ready to go. So they made it easy in a uh, more intense kinetic situation to easily disassemble and reassemble if you need to without having to worry about parts flying out like the old Beretta M9 did, so in 92. So anyway, yeah, fun pistol. I may go shoot it again. Shoot one of these 20 run round maggers, see it through it, see what it does. I might actually step back a little too. Instead of a seven yards, maybe I'll step back to 15 yards and see what it does. So again, we're gonna go at seven yards, do an initial shoot. Um, you know, I have shot this one, so it's it's not uh, new, but I did wanna show it to you and uh, uh, let's show, uh, see how easy it is to shoot and how fun it is to shoot. So here we go.
Can't go wrong with that. Let's go look and see what it did. So I was just shooting more for fun, but you can see uh, easily at uh, seven yards, 17 shots. Yeah, punching a, a, a big giant hole. Yeah. With this uh, pistol, a couple things about it. One, when you buy them from SIG, I like them because they come with the night sights already installed. Don't have to worry about that. SIG's good about that. Uh, just like the uh, military one with the magazine in, you can still drop the slide. You don't have to drop the mag to drop the slide. Uh, that way, uh, you don't have to worry about any issues as far as quick reloads. And it does also come with a manual safety. With this, the controls are ambidextrous, both. So you can drop the slide from either side, safety from either side. And then with you know all 320s, if you are left-handed, then you can change the magazine release to the right side and then these controls on the fire control group are still uh, ambidextrous so uh, it's really easy to shoot uh, very accurate like I said I never have any trouble qualifying with it um, when you go to shoot it uh, it's, it's being striker fired it's a short trigger pull and then when you uh, cycle it let me show you this The trigger reset is very short and it's very audible. And so when I'm qualifying, I listen for that because you have time between and uh, it really does help with uh, my accuracy with this pistol. It does have a plate, can put a sight on it, rail, so you can put a light or a laser. Uh, the only knock I have for it is there's only two micro red dots right now that fit it. One by Leopold and the other by Sig. And they're both... Uh, $450. Uh, you could probably buy an adapter plate, but I don't really want to fool with that. Nice thing is uh, you can put it on and keep the sights on. So uh, yeah, very nice pistol. So we're back at the 15 yard mark and we'll see how this thing does. The view. Eh, took me a minute to get my grip right, but uh, got better as went along. I'm going to say something. This is Remington ammo. It is dirty. Like I'm getting a face full of gas, and it's not very fun. But let's go down and look. Yeah, I've shot better. But like I said, when I first started, I could see the shots around here, and then uh, I adjusted my grip, and then they started tightening up. So, uh, yeah, that's and other people have said that. Like I, I know better. I, I have to make sure I get my grip right first. Start firing. Um, I didn't really do that. I just started shooting, and then I had to adjust. So, uh, some people like the Sig 320 grip frame. Some don't. Wilson makes an aftermarket one that people like better. Not too bad. Like seventy dollars. Um, I haven't bought one because I couldn't carry it anyway. But yeah, fun to shoot. Still a minute of torso is what I like to say. So anyway, yeah, M17 SIG P320. So last few thoughts. Let's do the holster first. What do I think? Well, I think it all depends on what you want out of life, right? And what you're used to. So this one, like I said, is what I'm issued. Oops, sorry. And so I'm very used to it and I, I, and I do like it. And so, uh, you know, I'm just used to push forward pull back pistol comes out so um, and like I said this comes off if you don't like it is it worth the money to somebody I mean unless you want it just wanted FTP um, 
Um, like I said, I like having more gear, so I don't have to worry about it. Then uh, maybe not. I'd go with the black. It's a lot cheaper. But if you do want it, like like I said, if I want it, it's the only way you can get it from Safari Land, uh, and then uh, it's through Sig, and so you're going to pay the price. But all in all, I do like that whole thing. I like the setup, so I would buy it again. Okay, so what about the pistol? Well, what can I say? I love it. Um, I was always, I always liked enjoying shooting the Breda, but this is so much uh, leaps and bounds ahead of it. it. It's just not even funny, and so um, I do enjoy it. I do like shooting it a lot. And would I carry it? Well, I might get the M18 if I was going to carry. Uh, it the grip is the same length. It's just a shorter slide, but uh, yeah, plenty of ammo, accurate, easy to shoot, easy to, to manipulate, easy to clean, yeah. So uh, if you get a chance to shoot one, try it. You may not like it. Uh, I like it, and so uh, not one I'd get rid of. So anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Nice epic day shooting, and uh, see you at the range.